Investigating a person struck by a train in Wilbraham. Uh, it, it happened, happened on Old Boston Road, yeah, shutting down the tracks for some time. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us live from Wilbraham uh, Road, that is, with the very latest. Audrey? We're told that a person was struck by a CSX train on these railroad tracks behind me. This happening a little after 10 o'clock in the morning. Wilbraham police haven't released any other information about the victim's condition at this time. But earlier in the day, while the scene was still active, the concern was evident in the investigators' voices as they asked us to move our cameras back and keep a distance from their work. And how long have you lived here on uh, 29 and a half years. Nearly three decades of living across the street from the train tracks, and Lee Ayers says he's used to hearing the train whistle on Old Boston Road. But things were different Friday morning when the Wilbraham man describes the moments leading up to when a pedestrian was struck by a CSX train. You know, I was just on the computer and I, you know, I heard, the, heard the train do its usual couple toots if somebody's you know, if something's going on, that they, you know, they need to alert them that they're coming, and, and then they just laid on the horn. CSX officials confirmed to Western Mass News one of their trains was involved and that they're cooperating with police. The train company thanking first responders in a statement to Western Mass News, calling it a tragic event. They also warned people against the danger of walking on or near tracks. Ayers tells Western Mass News those warnings are often ignored. Sometimes there's... There's people out there or ATVs and, you know, and most of the time you never hear anything after that. They're out of the way. He says he frequently hears warning blasts from the train's whistle, but says anyone walking on the tracks should feel the locomotive coming before seeing or hearing it. Sometimes it, it's like an earthquake. Wilbraham police say they're not going to release any more information about this incident until tomorrow. The train tracks were closed for a short period of time earlier this afternoon, but they've since reopened. Wilbraham Fire Department and Massachusetts State Police assisting in this investigation. Live in Wilbraham, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.